What up, my dudes? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Scribbles, the artist and crocheter behind Eclectic Scribbles, and welcome to a new video. So, in today's video, we're going to be doing the Artist Alley for Fairfax Comic Con. Uh, the previous video on my channel would have been the convention prep video and it shows you all the little details that go into me prepping for a convention and now we're going to do the actual artist alley and go through it so enjoy all right guys it is 12 25 we are fueling up now we got a really late start <laughs> we had a really great uh we had a really late start this morning because um andy had to get new batteries so we spent thirteen hundred dollars before we ever left the house which is just great but we are getting on the road right now um 12 25 and we are going to be headed that way and uh loading in hopefully we get there in time to completely load in so we'll see what happens We're loaded into the hotel anyway, so we got here right at 7 o'clock, um, which is just lovely if you don't want to load in the day before, <laughs> which we kind of did. So but she's going to make me work harder. Work harder. Tomorrow, we're going to get up at the butt crack of dawn. Like yeah. I ain't already been up for 34 hours. Ass crack of dawn, and we're going to load in at 6.30 in the morning, but... Uh, they also messed up and only had me scheduled for one table in the middle of a bunch of tables and that wasn't going to work. I wasn't going to have enough space. Um, so they are bumping me up to a 10 by 10 booth for that and um, I think it's going to be 1808 but we'll find out again in the morning if that's exactly where they're going to put us. So we've got a 10 by 10 corner booth with two six foot tables in it so i'll figure out a setup and what i'm going to do for that but that's the update for right now we are checking in at the hotel and then we're going to get something to eat and dehydrate because we've been in the car for six hours <laughs> all right we are all checked in ready to go got a nice room on the end so we only have one room beside of us. Testing out my new camera. So I'll get to play this back when I'm editing and see how the actual low light does. It looks better than my old camera. Let's go ahead and say that. Um, so we're doing good here. This is our room. The bathroom is over there behind that wall. I didn't see how big it was. There's a closet with a safe in it. Everything that you could possibly need is right outside these windows. <laughs> So we've got uh, actual shopping centers. Um, there are restaurants all like adjacent to the hotel. There's a Walmart directly behind us. So we don't have to pig out on super expensive food. Um, although my husband just broke both my iPads. <laughs> <laughs> Slam it down on the table, honey. Show me what you really want to do. <laughs> oh, poor baby. He's tired. He's been up for... 30-ish hours. 30-ish. 30-ish. Yeah, that's a lot more than 30. 30-ish. 30 He's being a big baby about it. <laughs> I love you so much, honey. honey. Look at my handsome husband. I don't want to kill you. Here is the camera. lovely assistant for this weekend, honey, aren't you? My I don't want assistant. To kill you on camera. You're my assistant. You don't want to die. <laughs> I'm going to shit. How's that? Oh, lovely. I am keeping that in. <laughs> Hold on, let's get a look before you blow it up of uh, the bathroom. Oh my god, where's the toilet? I don't know, but there's a little refrigerator. The toilet's probably behind that door, baby. Oh. Oh, yeah. There oh. you go. Let's get some light. Oh, weird. It, it, it goes around in the corner. Look, it's up there. It's like a little cubby hole. That's so weird. 
And then you can shut yourself in to have a private in the dark shit, honey. Yeah. In the dark. Look, we got little, little, little dove beauty bars. Have fun, honey. That's one kind of stuff, right? <laughs> oh my God, my husband is stupid. I love you. <laughs> You can tell we're old. We're, we're old because we get excited about the shitter. That's fantastic. All right, anyway, so this is me on uh, the camera for the first time in a very dull room. Hopefully this camera is worth what I just paid for it. So, <laughs> cause I paid a lot. I paid a lot. Anyways, um, yeah, we are gonna get up about 5.30. Six in the morning, something like that. Definitely 5.30 um, because there were a lot, a lot of empty tables and vendor booths that didn't get loaded in today. So I'm thinking that it is going to be like a madhouse in the morning and we definitely want to get over there so that we can beat most of that rush. I am kind of excited about, oh shit, lighting. <laughs> I am kind of excited about having the 10 by 10 booth. I do have... Um, I do have like my little shelves that I wasn't actually planning on using this time, but I was going to be using when I got an actual 10 by 10 booth. Um, but I think for this one, we're going to do like the L shape because it's a corner booth. So I'm going to have to work out, you know, what I want to do with that and how we're going to set it up. Um, so it's definitely not what we were expecting, but they did try. Um, it was just a clerical error. So they were like, you know, oops we can either give you half a refund or we can put you in a vendor booth um unless you really 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 need to be an artist alley and then we'll have to wait until in the morning to switch everything around i'm like yeah i don't want to be doing that at six o'clock in the morning i'm not a morning person and i don't appreciate people who are so <laughs> um i would rather go ahead and figure it out now so we just went booth instead of trying to move around which is fine it's like i'm staring straight at the artist alley so i'm not like hidden in with a bunch of vendors that um you know don't make their own stuff i'm just i'm just close just close to artist alley but we'll see how it works out hopefully it'll do fine um but yeah it's just gonna be a long day tomorrow the, everything just went against us today we um <laughs> poor andy's truck andy's truck broke down um, first thing this morning and cost us $1,300 to fix. So before 11 a.m. we had already spent over a grand. Uh, <laughs> uh, then he had to get unloaded. Then he had to come home. Then we went to Best Buy to get this camera because the card hadn't come in the mail yet. And so I couldn't use the account without the card to get the new camera that I was planning on getting a week ago. The card was supposed to be in my mail. I got the, you know, delivery thing in the mail yesterday um, is when it was supposed to show up, but of course it didn't. As we were pulling out today to leave to come here, we um, saw the mailman coming up the road. So that took another five minutes while we waited on his her slow butt to get up at our mailman, mail person, mail something or other is just, shitty we have had nothing but problems since our favorite male person um quit like six months ago nothing comes on time sometimes they don't even drop our mail off it's just it's a big old mess um and the bad thing is she had to literally come into the driveway and drop a package in the carport yesterday she had my mail because i had a photograph of my mail and still didn't drop it off anyways we have the best buy cars they were in today's mail instead we went to the Best Buy closest to us, and while I was looking at these cameras, this one was $50 more than the one that I was originally looking at, but this one comes with a detachable and exchangeable lens, whereas the other one didn't. So, I'm like, for $50, bucks, i would rather have the one with the detachable lens. Well, of course, that one didn't have any in stock, so that was fun. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to for $50 downgrade to something that I can't change the lens on at all. So the closest one that had it in stock was our Durham location, which took us about 20 minutes out of the way, um, from our original sort of coming up here to this, our route. Um, so we went there. It took us a few minutes, obviously inside the store to get checked out and everything, which is fine. Um, we went through it pretty quickly. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't a huge deal, but um, I'd say all in all, it took about it added about an hour 
hour and a half to our time and then we just got stuck in traffic like three or four times so we got here <laughs> load in was 12 to 7 and we got here um at 7 exactly as in the workers the volunteers and everybody were literally walking out the door when we pulled up which we knew and so i jutted in real quick from the car and i was like i just want to get my table number i just want to get my table number so i walked in i got our badges i got our wristbands i got our table number and that's when we found out that they only had one table set aside for us but anyways that's the big long details of what happened today um so it's just gonna be an extra long day tomorrow but we'll see you then. That's your Jack and Coke, honey. It's better than that uh, banana cream thing that I had. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't, I wasn't mm. about to try that. Mm. So it's all Jack and a dash of Coke. Just a dash. <laughs> Just a dash of Coke. These are wings. They look good. How are the fries? Oh, you're eating a carrot. I got a quesadilla. And he got a burger that's not here yet. All right, it's about 5:45 in the morning. My husband. He's got a boo boo again. Still talking about taking a dump. <laughs> oh my god. Um, we are packed up and ready to go load in. Uh, the convention center is like three minutes that way, so it's not very far at all. We just want to make sure that we get a good spot so that we can load in quickly once once they start. I wanted to kill this man last night a little bit because he had the temperature set on 60 degrees and I nearly froze all night. I nearly froze to death and didn't know why until I got up this morning and realized what the thermostat was set on. Anyways, so we're going to load in. I'll show you hopefully a little bit of that process. It just depends on what's going on when we get in there, um, but I will definitely show you the final setup. Hopefully before it opens. So I'm hoping that we can get the booth up in like two hours. Um, so we'll see what happens. I tried to make it as easy to assemble as possible with as less stress as possible. So everything that I need attached to the boards is basically already attached to the boards. So we'll see. There's a plane going overhead. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyways, um, good morning. It's day one of the convention. And we are going to go set up. Here is a wide look at the pink table with all the plushies on it. We got some curtain lights so it's lighting up all pretty. We got more plushies than I have room for honestly so we just put them in here. I got a fun little carousel full of little mini leggy frogs. How adorable is that? They just spin on the carousel. So here's a look at some of the other stuff that we've got up here. And then we've got some stuff hanging up here and there's still plenty of stock down below. I just sort of 
ran out of space. But here we go. So here's this side all done up. I need to get a second sign for the front of my table, but I'll have to worry about that next. Let's go look at the other side. My lovely assistant is still working away. Look at how good he's doing. We are burning up, by the way. The doors are open, the dock doors, so they didn't turn on that air conditioning, and it has been horrible. We are literally dripping with sweat. But here's all of our cups. We got our mystery bags down here. We got our gotcha up here. I have to add the new pins to this board right here, and I have to get my signage out of the car. But this is what this one is looking like. We're pushing the cups this time. We want those to be the top sellers. So those are the most accessible. And those are the ones that are out on the table for people to pick up and connect to. We do still have, you know, plenty of stickers. But I think that's secondary to the cups. So that's what we did. Um, instead of a self-serve this time, you just tell me which sticker you want and I'll grab it. You having fun, honey? No. No fun at all? No. You've been an excellent booth, babe. Yeah, I'm sure. You have been. You I'm look sure. so tired. I am fucking tired. I'm so exhausted. But you're a, you're a brilliant booth, babe. I love you so much. You're doing such a good job. Don't give me that eat shit look. <laughs> <laughs> So it is day two starting. We are just getting ready to check out the hotel. Andy has gone downstairs to get the luggage cart. Uh, we are making sure that we don't forget anything because, I don't know, we notoriously leave something behind no matter what. Um, and then we're going to go over to the venue where I left all of my charging cords so that I can charge all my stuff up for today. So it opens at 930. Um, for any kind of load in and for the exhibitors today and then it opens 11 to 4 for the public so we're gonna go and do that guys here is the look for day two I restocked as I went yesterday so I made sure everything was full last night when we got done before we left so I didn't really have to do anything this morning I wanted to walk around our artist alley for a bit but here is what we're looking at 
on this side and then here we go this side. we're definitely down to our last cinnamon cup our last Kirby cup we've got two more pachitas we've got one more Kirby over here in the tumbler so yeah this is what we look like here we go day two got about 20 minutes left in the convention so here's what we're looking like on the plushy table and this is what we end up looking like which I continually restock but this so this pretty much looks the same but this is where we are the white table Hey you guys, it is 5.30. We are getting the last little bit of stuff right there into the actual trailer. I've got all my stuff done in here and we are loaded out, ready to go home. It's about a four and a half hour drive. Five if we have to stop, which we will. So five, five and a half hour drive for us to get back to the house, but we will be in our own beds tonight. All right, so we're at the end of the video and now I'm going to give you my thoughts and reflections and how things went at the con itself. Um, before I do that, I do want to go over a couple of little things. Look at this little dude. Look at this little monster man. His mouth is a pocket. He is called a love monster. This is my mouth is a pocket made from an original fluff monster pattern from fluff monster fluff Sorry, he's not a fluff monster. He's a fluff monger. Fluff monger pattern from fluffmonger.com. Um, Bliss, Bliss by Babe has got this other tag on here. But look at how freaking cute he is. I had to have him. I had to have him. He is freaking adorable. Um, and then off my boo neighbor, I got this um, stitch and scrump crossbody bag, which is also handmade by her, um, or which is handmade by her. These were two separate artists. Um, let's see. That is Masuko, Matsuko Engineering. Oh, began to shop. There is all the info on them. And then off of one of my neighbors, I also got a big print. It is Cat's Dream Company. Uh, let me grab that. They're at Cat's Dreamland on Instagram, I'm sure. I got this beautiful acrylic print. Um, they gave it to me at the end of the show. It's just, um, she's got a little freckle on her cheek right here. So they weren't able to sell it because it's like a seconds or whatever. And so she offered it to me. 
she offered one to my booth neighbor and one to me and i was like um absolutely it's gorgeous i'll still have it please thank you but it was it's so pretty all right those are the things that i got that was all the shopping that i did um for the artist alley so I mean, as you can see in the video, we had sort of a rocky start, but everything else went absolutely uh, smoothly. We didn't have any issues with anyone, anywhere. Um, we did have uh, the small issue of the booth, but then they put us in what turned out to be like an 8x8 eight eight booth, not a 10x10 10 10 booth, an 8x8 eight eight booth. And uh, I was the only one in that entire block, like the only one. So, um, what became my booth neighbor came over. Um, I think I explained all that in the, the thing, but we still stretched out after that. So it was like an eight by 16 booth for both of us, um, by the time that we stretched out. So I was trying to make it look to where we were all one cohesive piece because she was stretched out, you know, this way behind us. And then we were sort of stretched out this way, trying to catch the attention. I don't think we were in the very best spot. We were at the very end of what would have been the vendor booths. Um, and at the very end of what would have been artist alley, um, moving over into the, like the back corner of the convention. So yeah, I don't, I don't really think we were in a great spot, which is, you know, no, it's not a big deal. I mean, you get put where you get put. So that's not, that's not the end of the world. We still did okay. People were shopping. Um, the traffic was just a little bit light and uh, a lot lighter than we're used to. Um, so there was that. But the people who were there were buying. Um, overall, I think my profit versus expenses was somewhere in the neighborhood of like 54% profit and 46% expenses. Um, I did have increased expenses with um, food this go round because Andy was with me. Um, and so two people definitely eat more than one. And he go, we would go, we went out to dinner each night when um, I wouldn't really normally do that. I'd probably just grab something really, really quickly. Uh, this was also the first time that we had the hotel expense. Um, we've been doing a whole lot of local things where we drive back and forth. So um, that is the first time we've added in expenses. But even with all of that considered, the sales for each day were a lot lower than we're sort of used to. Um, it wasn't horrible by any means. Like I said, I got to see my husband after an entire month pretty much of him being away uh we got to spend some quality time together um we made profit so it is really not that big a deal um it is about a four and a half five hour drive for us so i'm gonna say that it is not worth us going back to next year uh if you're local i think that it would be a great thing for you but i did hear several other people complaining that they did not make as much this year as they had in previous years um even though previous years it was a one day convention so i'm not really sure what happened there um but i did find that traffic was really really slow i am happy for the traffic that we got and the sales that we got and i'm happy that we got uh, we made profit on top of that so that i can replenish some of my stock and get ready for the next convention but like i said i don't think that i'm going to be doing this one again next year it's a little far for not a whole lot of return so i have to take that into consideration because i have to be paid <laughs> i have to be paid for um the time that i put into it and so it didn't balance out for this one but again if you're local go for it um, our placement couldn't have been any better. Our hotel was in the same shopping center as the expo center. So we were connected to a bunch of restaurants as well. So everything was in walking distance. So our next convention is going to be in Asheville, North Carolina. It is September 30th and October 1st. It is the Beer City Comic Con. It is a first year show. So there is no um, prior stats to go off on. Of we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I have seen them promoting out at the different conventions that I've been to this year. They were at uh, Galaxy Con Raleigh. They were at Heroes Con promoting, and they said they got a lot of nice response. So I'm hoping 
that that is the case. It is at Harrah's Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, so if you're if you're local to the area or if you're going to be in that area and you want to swing by and see us, uh, please do. I think our table number is like E68, although there's not a map to go with it yet. So <laughs> I don't know where that is. We're going to be in a 10 by 10 booth there. So I think we are placed with the vendors and not necessarily in the artist alley. We'll have to wait and see how that layout goes. I have no idea how it's going to run at this point, but we're going to give it a shot. It is... Uh, about a three hour drive from here so it's not too far um we will be i will be staying in a hotel i don't know if anybody's going with me for this one but we i will be staying in a hotel for that one too instead of driving back and forward each day um it's just still a little bit too far for that um but yeah that's what we're doing next and then following that one we have fayetteville comic-con in october i think it's the 14th and 15th or the 13th and 14th whatever that weekend is in October and it will be at the Fayetteville Convention Center um, which we did in the spring we will be back there for that and then the last one that I have scheduled right now for this season is in December in Columbus it's GalaxyCon Columbus um, so we'll be in Ohio for that one and I'm pretty sure that Mr. Scribbles is going to come with me for that one so uh, that one is going to round out our year before we're back January. The first weekend in January, we're going to be coming back with another one. And we've booked out, you know, pretty much all of the same conventions next year, except for this one. All right. So that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the Artist Alley. I tried to include a few different clips than I normally do. I am testing out my camera, so I know it's bumpy. I know it's bumpy. I'm going to work on it. I promise. Um, I love your faces. I will see you in the next video. Leave me a green heart down in the comments if you got all the way to the end of the video. And let me know if you're going to be around for any of those conventions that I mentioned. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for being here. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.